Back to AI, I have, I have another question for you about that. Do you think we're overhyping AI at this moment? Everyone really is, is celebrating the arrival of ChatGPT, and since that day, it feels like we have one new innovation after the other popping up. Is this, is this overhyping it, or are, are we at the beginning of the second half of the S-curve? Uh, so, virtual reality, 3D printing, Internet of Things, wearables, all ridiculous, stupid technologies. Ridiculous, overhyped, license to burn money. Um, I think AI is actually the most significant technology in a long, long time. And anyone who plays with any of generative AI, it's hard to not acknowledge this is going to have huge impact. I don't think we're overhyping it. What I think we're doing is catastrophizing it. And that is, if you look at the history of disruptive technologies, the first stage is we're sort of in awe of it, and a lot of capital rushes in and takes a lot of companies beyond probably a rational valuation, and that's happening here. What also happens is the media immediately goes to, well, this will have very negative impacts on the job ecosystem, and there'll be a lot of people who are laid off, and this could result in very bad things. And then what we generally find is that um, it creates more jobs than it destroys. And I would argue that the whole AI pause catastrophization movement is largely fueled by people who are looking for other innovators to pause while they can catch up. And that is, it's mostly BS. And the idea of a pause, I think, is a terrible idea because I don't think North Korea, Russia, or Iran, or China are going to pause. Mm -hmm. I'm actually very excited about AI. People are worried if AI is going to take your job. No, someone who understands AI is going to take your job. We are going to produce a generation of information warriors who will be able to leverage AI to become much more productive. They will increase their compensation and the people who don't adapt, whether it's adapting to robotics. We, we, we saw, whether it was the printing press, textile manufacturing, the cotton gin, robotics, we had incredible fear. And robotics, in fact, destroyed a lot of jobs on the manufacturing floor, uh, floors of, say, automobile companies. But what we didn't anticipate is we could take that incremental productivity and prosperity and invest in incremental innovation. We didn't anticipate heated seats. We didn't anticipate car stereos. And the automobile industry now employs more people than it did before. This is a healthy part of the cycle. I'm actually quite optimistic. I think that it's going to have tremendous, uh, uh, and I'm usually a glass half empty kind of guy around technology. It's going to, I think, offer tremendous opportunities in healthcare ability to take um, a disease from a, or healthcare from a defensive disease-driven state to an offensive health-driven opportunity. I think this could disperse all sorts of wonderful things around self-care, mental health therapy, uh, coaching people on their diet, disperse it out to their smart devices. I'm actually, I'm just incredibly excited about AI, which is unusual for me. I'm usually a pessimist. There are some dangers. I hope we don't make the same mistake. The original sin of the internet was we let it be funded by advertising.